Well, I'm really pleased to be able to present data here from our now cumulative data set regarding the use of momelodinib for patients with myelofibrosis. So with that, we have data now from multiple phase three trials. And at ASCO, we presented data as it relates to both the Simplify 1 and Simplify 2 study. That was momelodinib either compared to ruxolitinib in the frontline setting or compared to best alternative uh, therapy in the second line setting. With that, we both got baseline data, both in terms of MPN symptoms, using the patient reported outcome form that my team helped develop, the MPN 10, as well as a range of other tools to help best quantify physical functioning, role functioning, the SF36, and other instruments. And with that, one, we were able to validate what we've known well, that patients can have a lot of symptoms, but two, that there really is an impact, particularly as it relates across anemia, on a range of other endpoints that really matter in terms of role functioning, physical functioning, what is that consequence to the patient of having an inadequate hemoglobin, having inadequate oxygen carrying capacity. Then we also found, as we followed the patients through the trial, that those that were able to achieve transfusion independence, who had been previously transfusion dependent, that there was a benefit in terms of improving physical functioning, role functioning, and other aspects that help patients. So one, there can be a symptomatic improvement as it relates to fatigue and other difficulties, but that the symptomatic improvement actually leads to a benefit to patients that's quantifiable. They're able to uh, do more activities of daily living. Probably they have to cancel less events with friends and family. You know, if they're currently working, maybe they can you know, work longer hours if that's something they, they choose. So both gratifying to see. I think the data we show both, I think, helps to further validate the impact of how symptoms impact patients, but also how therapy, when effective, can really have a beneficial impact. As we did this analysis, our goal was first to really understand the impact of both symptoms and anemia as it relates to kind of the baseline. Because again, you, you can imagine that we had the baseline data on hundreds of patients with myelofibrosis, both from Simplify 1 and Simplify 2. And that I think really helped to validate our, our initial hypothesis uh, on the impact. And we saw that there was significant decrease in role functioning, physical functioning, kind of compared with published norms across the board, transfusion dependent, independent, or anemic. I think, uh, and then we did analysis to see how that improved over time. And then again, we're able to validate that uh, benefit. Key takeaways that I'd like individuals to take away from our study. First, these patients experience quite a bit of difficulty. You know, we've known this, but I think this further helps to validate this. You know, myelofibrosis is a chronic neoplasm. It's a leukemia, it clearly can be life-threatening but it impacts both length of life and quality of life. You know, and I think that that impact on quality of life is both from anemia, a decrease in oxygen carrying capacity, but also clearly symptoms that arise really from the disease. And that the combination of these things truly do have an impact on how patients are able to really go about their daily lives in terms of role functioning, physical functioning, and others. The second key one is that our therapies can potentially have a benefit to improving that. One, I think being on JAK inhibition, and in this case, mamalotinib, uh, really can have an impact in terms of overall symptoms. I think we're able to see a further distinguishing feature of by also achieving transfusion independence, there really was a further improvement. I think that it's probably a combination of both a decrease in kind of the inflammatory uh, symptoms that are really arise in myelofibrosis, but with probably an incremental benefit from achieving uh, anemia benefit. This correlates with other analyses that we've published over the years that have shown that the achievement of transfusion independence was associated with an improvement in survival. That was data that we've published uh, in the past and presented at other congresses. So I think anemia matters as well as improving anemia matters in patients with myelofibrosis.